Greetings to all of my friends and family that are listening to this video today. It's great to be coming to you today. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I just really want to talk to you today about the Feast of the Trumpets. And it's an interesting subject because it's already passed. Uh, in the Jewish tradition, they had a feast every year called the Feast of Trumpets. And the Feast of Trumpets uh, started this last Friday and ended on Sunday. Uh, it was an interesting thing because they went in a lockdown and, and some of the shofars did not sound. But I think eventually they did over the weekend in different places and areas. There's a lot of people that were expecting the Lord to come on the Feast of Trumpets. And some of them were disappointed or discouraged because they thought the Lord was going to come. I want to encourage you today and tell you that Jesus could come any day. It's not just necessarily a time. No one knows the day or the hour that Jesus is going to come, but we know he is going to come. And we know that we should not lose faith in that. And I think it's a good thing some people were expecting. I've, I've noticed on uh, different outlets across the network that many people were really thinking this was the time that Jesus was going to come. That's not a bad thing because Jesus taught us in the Word of God to be watchful and always expecting His coming. And folks, as I speak to you today, it could happen before I leave this broadcast today. All the signs have been fulfilled, so don't be discouraged today if Jesus didn't come just exactly like you think He should, because God has His own pattern and God has His own way. Now, during the Feast of Trumpets, there's 10 days, and it's called 10 Days of Repentance in the Land of Israel. That's where people examine their heart and see if there's any wicked thing in them and pray and seek God and seek His face. I want to tell you that message of repentance should resonate with us in America today. We need to repent. We don't hear much of that anymore about repentance. But folks, the only way to get to heaven is to repent of our sins and ask God to forgive us and accept the provision that He made at the cross of Calvary. Because he died for all of our sins and salvation is a wonderful thing. And you can access it by just asking to come into your heart. That's all it takes is just a simple prayer. He's only a prayer way. And during that 10 days of repentance in there is called the uh, Day of Atonement. that comes about 10 days after, around the 28th, I think, this year. 28th of September, the Day of Atonement means uh, that everyone is going to have to give an account of what they have done in their life. After the Jewish New Year, of course, uh, after 10 days, and uh, after the 10 days uh, that comes that Day of Atonement, that's called Yom Kippur, you too. And so it, it's something that you need to think about, about seeking the face and examine your heart to see you're right with God in every way you can. You know, in Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 3, I believe it is, they said there will be scoffers come in the last days and says, where is the sign of his coming? They're going to mock and they're going to make fun. Now, I think there's a lot of people probably making fun of people over this last weekend when Jesus didn't come on the Feast of Trumpets. And they're probably laughing and saying, you know, this is just a fable. It's never going to happen. Folks, Jesus said there's one thing that he wants to find on the earth. That's faith when he comes back. So be looking and expect him to come any day because just about the time you don't think he's going to come, he may come because he could come at any day now. All the signs have been fulfilled. You know, it's hard to diagnose what's really going on in America today. We've got some unbelievable political things that are going on. We have some unbelievable things that are happening in the world. There's immorality in and, and this nation. You know, I believe God loves our nation. We have given more money to people across the seas than any other nation in the history of the world. We've sent more missionaries around the world than any other country. But yet, on the dark side of it, there's been abortions and there's been uh, all kinds of immorality. Folks, I want to tell you what Jesus wants us to examine our heart and think about. And that Jesus has promised his coming. And if people make fun of you, that's all right, because it don't matter, because Jesus is coming again someday very soon. And I want to encourage you, if you're looking to the Lord today, 
to just think about we're living in a day of repentance. We're living in a day of grace now. And now we can ask God to come into our heart. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. We don't have much time. We don't ever know when this last curtain is going to happen in America and what's going to happen in the days to come with this election coming up. It's some serious things we're treading in the history of the world. We have never seen anything like this before. So prepare your hearts for the coming of the Lord. For surely he does come quickly. And thank you for listening to the broadcast today. And may God bless you, Richard.